The news is getting weirder by the minute. It feels like I'm watching a soap opera instead of the news because people are saying some ridiculous things. Somebody used the term birthing person in some documentation instead of using the word mother. I also noticed you changed a, a term in your budget work. Uh, you shifted from, in places, from using the term mother to birthing people rather than mother. Can you help me get a good definition of birthing people? I don't understand why these people don't seem to understand English language. Well, I, I'll, I'll check on the language there, but I think if we're talking about those who give birth, I think we're talking about, uh, I, I don't know how else to explain it to you other than I'd, it because they're basically just defining the word mother. It's almost like they want to talk in definitions instead of talking in words, which seems really dumb because we'd be explaining ourselves till the cows come home. Conversations would take so long explaining what a door is. You try to explain that it's the piece of wood that you open when you want to walk through the wall. Instead of just saying door, I was a little taken back when I just read it and saw it, that it's that the term mother was gone in spots and it was replaced with birthing people. And I didn't know if this was a direction that you were going, if there were shifts, if there are regulatory changes that are happening related to that or what the purpose of that is. The excuse that people that want to change language always use is, we want to be more inclusive. Well, you're excluding people that don't want to talk like that. So. In your attempt to be inclusive, you're actually being exclusive. Uh, I think it's probably, and again, I, I'd have to go back and take a look at the language that was used in the budget, but I think it, it simply reflects the work that's being done. Oh, I, oh, I definitely get that. I, I, would, I would only say well, the language is important always. We don't want to offend in our language. I get that. We need to relearn words. So the word woman means adult female human, and the word girl means smaller female human. The word girl can be interchanged with woman, because I'm a girl, but I'm also a woman. Those are synonyms for female human. But would you at least admit calling a mom a birthing person could be offensive to some moms, uh, that they don't want to get like a happy birthing person card in May or, I mean, can you at least admit that that term itself could be offensive to some moms? Now, some women decide that they want to be mothers, which means they give birth to little humans called babies. Some women don't want to do that. So some women are mothers. Senator, I'll, I'll go back and take a look at the, the the terminology that was used, and I can get back to you, but again, if we're trying to be precise in the language that's used. Mom's a pretty good word. That's, that's worked for a while, and I think that's pretty precise as well. But all people who have given birth are mothers, but not all women are mothers. And that concludes the English lesson for the day. Now you have learned three or four words, woman, girl, mother, and baby. I hope you feel smarter, and thank you for joining me in my kitchen. I'll see you later.